guys and welcome to today's video. So I've moved into my new uni room and it's an amazing room, really spacious, but it's lacking one vital thing, which is shelves. And for someone with a lot of little bits and bobs, like loads of rocks and just stuff, I need shelves. So I've decided to be a bit creative and try and create my own for you guys today. Um, so I'm going to take you with me and basically this is the wall and I want shelves up to about here sort of height. So I'm going to make them out of like bricks and wood and um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to get measuring and then go off to B&Q and we'll see if we can do this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a tape measure and measure the place you want to build the shelves. So I'm doing it from my chest of drawers all the way to my bed so it's quite a long shelf basically and um, I need to decide if I want two stacks of bricks to hold the shelves in place or three so one in the middle um, and I think this depends especially on what I want to put on them like if it's just my shoes or light things I'm not gonna have an issue but if I try and put these bad boys on them I think I'm gonna break the shelf so yeah I've got to decide on that one but nonetheless I'm just gonna measure the length of it now to then work out how long the shelves even need to be because I'm pretty sure B&Q cut them for you well that's what I'm relying on otherwise I'm gonna be buying a, like a saw as well and just being like complete DIY but then um, we'll have a look so 180 oh god 180. <laughs> I absolutely hate putting tape measures back in can't stand it so that length is 180 centimeters because um, then basically I'm making a right angle shelf so it's going to look a bit like an L so this shelf's going to go all the way to my bed and then here to the end of my bed like there just further on you're a bit out of shot um, I'm going to make another shelf that can put my monitor at the end of my bed so I can basically watch TV in bed um, so that shelf will just be the height of my bed and then these shelves will go all the way up so we'll see how this turns out so I'm going to scoot to B&Q made it Right, I found the bricks and a really handy little helper. I came along for fun. <laughs> so it's a bit noisy in here, but we managed to find this massive off-cut piece, well, a miscut, um, and it's huge enough to fit all the shelves in it, so that's a cheaper option then. It would have cost £60 in just, like, pieces of wood to make the shelves, so we're going to go cut this one up. That's all the wood cut, these are the shelves here and then that's just the price tag but I might keep it anyway and do something with it. So we're now getting 62 bricks to get this, three. <laughs> get this done. So um, this, we're, I didn't even think about the weight in my car and my one litre little engine can't really take 62 bricks so my friend's coming down to take some of them and we'll just do as many trips as we need but um, yeah. So I changed my mind and I'm going to go for these bricks, which are the ones I decided at the start. So just changing my mind all the time, but I've, I'm set on these. So I was going to do an alternating pattern of these and the lighter grey ones, but these are lighter, so my car will be happier. And to be honest, I think they look nicer. Like all you'll see is the edge of it. So we're going to go for these ones. I love the fact that when we went into being cute, it was light. <laughs> and now it's dark. Oh, I really don't want them to fall off. <laughs> okay, the wood is safely in the house, and all the bricks are currently sleeping on my bed, so we have to build it tonight, even though, like, look how dark it is outside. <laughs> you can see more of inside. Yeah, outside than outside. outside. But it's fine, we have cleared the space, and we're gonna get building. shelf and putting a ton of stuff on it I realized being five bricks high and having like quite a few shelves all at the back um, it wasn't very stable because it's not screwed into my wall so we're trying something different we're gonna make basically a three pillar tier on these two shelves so um, and I'm gonna turn them into like triangles because even though these shelves are really sturdy and don't bow um, they still tilt forward so I'm just gonna basically make a triangle base 
so it's literally not going to move at all. So um, yeah, let's get to it. current new design so I've got this new middle pillar that's right at the back and then this pillar and the one right in the corner there is right forward so it makes sort of like a really weird triangle but it just means it's a bit more sturdy at the bottom um, and I did that on the shelf above and then this I've turned them the other way just to sort of act as a weight down onto that pillar just to finish it off because this shelf isn't going to have a third pillar I'm just going to go back to two um, and we're going to see if this works. So I've pretty much completed it now. I'm just going to shuffle a few things back a bit and rearrange but it's a lot sturdier than it was the first time around. So really happy about that. But it is half 11 and I haven't had food yet. So I just ordered a, ke ugh, ordered a kebab, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I'm going to eat this, move it back a smidge, and then I'll show you it completely done up, which will probably be tomorrow because I also need to buy another 16 bricks for the little L bit to go by my bed. Um, so this is turning into a two-day DIY, who would think it, but um, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. So they are finally all built and I've put some of my shoes on the top shelf and a few other bits and bobs behind me, um, just to make them look a bit less empty, but I've literally rebuilt and taken down this shelf unit about six times and we're currently the next day um, and I had to do another trip to B&Q and get 16 more bricks because I decided to put a third column in just on the first four shelves um just to give it a bit more stability because the shelf wasn't bowing at all but it was quite wobbly so it's a bit like mm. so i'm gonna grab my camera now and show you what i did in the end because i've tried all different types and i just wanted it as sturdy as it could be um and i think i've got that like it doesn't even move now um so i'm really happy about that because it means i can just put i don't need to be scared about what i put on the shelves and it's now just a perfect shelf unit this is what it looks like and i just have these columns at the bottom here are right to the forward, uh, like right to the front even. And then these ones are a little bit further back. These ones are even more further back, further back. And then the ones holding my boots at the moment are right at the back. And that basically just gives it more stability because it's leaning into my wall. Um, and basically it's not going to collapse on me at all. And then this middle column is just to provide sort of like a triangle base effect. So you've got the column at the back here is the same as the column over here so right at the front and then this column is as far back as it can go same with this one and this one so it's basically creating a triangle base as it goes up just to like this shelf literally won't move now which is exactly what i wanted um and yeah so i'm really really happy with how this turned out and i've made this bottom part here is for all my deliveries so videos i'm making so i just slide them underneath then I'm not sure what this shelf is going to be. It's currently holding something very important, but I'm probably going to move that up to this shelf, maybe. Um, and then obviously all my boots, because I have so many. Um, and then this shelf that comes around here, it's got sort of like my bits and bobs in these trays. That's going to be some more bits and bobs. And then my monitor is going to go here so I can watch TV in bed. So um, now I'm really chuffed with how it's turned out. I love this is what it looks like like looking onto it and you can just see how well it fits into my room because that's the perk of building it yourself you can make it custom and fit basically anywhere so i'm really chuffed with how it turned out like it's exactly how i wanted this is the finished product so i absolutely love it everything fits on it perfectly i even have some space spare i've just managed to like put everything i wanted to on these shelves all my rocks all my boots and i'm going to be putting a plant there hence the weird space between my boots because it's not big enough for another pair of shoes but it is big enough for something um and then look how nice this plant is i got this from aldi like look i didn't want to tip it too much otherwise that would be on my floor um so these shelves they just sort of clear up my entire room and they were so i say they were so easy to make they are just brick and wood but it did take me a while to assemble them in the right way but once you get it right they are amazing so that's today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this DIY and maybe I've given you some ideas for your uni room or your home or just a storage idea in general because it's really easy to make 
really easy to dismantle, redesign, like it's just really easy. So um, that being said, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, if you've ever seen it done before, or like if you're gonna make your own, I'd love to see any results if you do. Um, but apart from that, I'll link on my social media down below. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.